More than 40 dogs and cats have been rescued from a Cookville home. Crews claim they were living in neglectful conditions, and this is not the first time the owners have done this. News 4's Forrest Sanders is in Lebanon where the animals are being kept. Forrest? So we're at the Animal Rescue Corps right now, and I want to introduce you to somebody who's being really good over here. This is Clementine. This is Clementine the Basset Hound. She's just been hanging out with us. And what the Animal Rescue Corps has been telling us, uh, there we go, <laughs> now we're relaxing right here. What the Animal Rescue Corps has been telling us is that animals like Clementine were left either without water or without drinkable water. And they were also left with moldy food. There, there again, their situation was, was sad with what they were having to live in. Wasn't the best of conditions by any means. I felt bad for the animals. James Style is just taking a listen. He says Locust Grove Road in Cookville has a new quiet ever since crews arrived at the neighbor's house and rescued 42 animals. Matter of fact, we had nicknamed it Animal Farm. <laughs> They're now here with the Animal Rescue Corps in Lebanon being treated for issues including eye and ear infections. They say the animals were living in neglect. The animals were spotted by the Putnam County Sheriff's Department while serving a warrant to owner Tara Nutzler for felony theft and 10 care fraud. Neighbors say the animals have been here for years and the smell could be so bad you couldn't stand outside. It was pretty horrendous in the summer, to be honest with you. The same property owners here are involved in another case from a year ago when 150 animals were rescued from Carroll County. Those animals are here as well as their custody goes through court. I'm hoping that this time they don't get to have animals anymore. I'm glad for the animals and the ones that can, you know, go forward and have a better life. Now charges involving animals in the Cookville case have not been filed at this time. In Lebanon, I'm Forrest Sanders.